Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Uh, three news to you. Firstly, viewers, why is that error TI gave two month uh, period, grace period to Ethiopian Airlines to close all its operations in error TI? It's a very important question. Is error TI blackmailing Ethiopian Airlines? Um, Will it change its decision of suspending Ethiopian Airlines flights? I have received new information which I want to share with you. Secondly, viewers, uh, IDP is returning to Salamthi and IDP returning to Southern Tegarai to from Kobo. Military issued a statement about that yesterday. And lastly, African Union this week issued a statement about election held in Rwanda. I made a video, I told you about uh, how election was conducted in Rwanda. Paul Kagame got 99.1 or 2 percent votes, I think. Uh, everyone knows how election was conducted. What did African Union say? Uh, let's start with yours. Uh, two pieces of information for you, new pieces of information for you about uh, Eretia banning Ethiopian airline flights. It has been confirmed now that Eretia has officially intimated Ethiopian airlines that Ethiopian airlines cannot operate in Eretia after the 30th of September. Why? Eretia is accusing Ethiopian Airlines of uh, adopting uh, trade practices which are not fair. It accused Ethiopian Airlines of uh, increasing uh, flight ticket uh, prices and uh, stealing passengers' luggage, etc. Ethiopian Airlines issued a statement. It did not respond to the allegations of Eritrean government. It said that uh, it would seek more clarification from Eritrea. It would resolve this issue amicably. Very professional statement from Ethiopian Airlines. Now, two important pieces of information. Why is that uh, Eritrea gave two month period, uh, time period to Ethiopian Airlines to stop operations? The flights could have been stopped uh, in a week or two weeks or ten days. Why? Two months given. Well, uh, September is the busiest month for flight operations to Eritrea because in September some big uh, festivals and events uh, fall. Maskell, I think, is in September. New Year is in September. So, thousands of Eritreans fly to Asmara in September. If the Ethiopian Airlines uh, is told to stop all operations this month or next month, it would be difficult for them to find uh, alternative flights at cheap rates. They will have to take alternative flights at very high rates. Maybe that is one of the reasons that uh, Eritrean government chose the last day of September, 30th of September. That, that could be one of the reasons, I think. It's not that Eritrea is willing to review its decision. I think decision will not be reviewed. It won't uh, change. So far, it seems. Uh, and by the way, I think Eritrea owes to Ethiopian Airlines. I'll do a video on that separately. Secondly, just uh, three weeks ago, Eritrean authorities asked Ethiopian Airlines to increase the number of flights to Eritrea. Just three weeks ago, everything was fine. Eritrea was asking Ethiopian Airlines to increase the number of flights and to uh, it, it asked Ethiopian Airlines to, to use those uh, planes which has more which have more capacity. So it wanted Ethiopian Airlines to expand its operations from two flights a day to maybe three flights a day to Asmara. 
just two to three weeks ago it happened and then suddenly RRT announced that uh, it would not let uh, Ethiopian lines operate after some month. So it means that the decision made by RRT in government is not mainly because of customer care service. So it is one of the reasons I received reports months ago. RRT and passengers have been complaining, but it's a minor issue. It is not a major factor prompting RRT to ban Ethiopian airline flight. Because three weeks ago, everything was fine. There were no customer care service complaints. So why is that suddenly RRT decided to ban Ethiopian airline flights? Well, the reasons are political. Main reasons are political. Which particular reasons? I think uh, there could be two main reasons. I, I talked about Brigadier Nehamedo, uh, that uh, Ethiopia is backing Brigadier Nehamedo. Obviously, it's not acceptable to already. Secondly, Ethiopian growing infants in Sudan is a serious concern for Eritrea. Eritrea is feeling left out in Sudan. UAE, RSF, Burhan, Ethiopia are meeting. In Ethiopia, we could see a meeting between Al Burhan and UAE leader, RSF too maybe. So Eritrea is not in the picture. Eritrea wanted to be a key player in Sudan. It has always been a player because it shares border with Eastern Sudan. What happens in Sudan affects Eritrea. So Eritrea has been intervening in Sudan. Still it is intervening. It is training Sudanese groups on its soil. But here Ethiopia is taking the lead. Backed by the UAE, Ethiopia is in talks with Al Burhan. Al Burhan considering Ethiopia peace proposal. It did not sit well with uh, Eritrea. Secondly, if Somalia wants to make a move to corner Ethiopia, to ban Ethiopian life flights, maybe it would contact Eritrea first. It would say, it would say, please support us. Let's uh, put Ethiopia under pressure. Let's both of us ban Ethiopian lines. So maybe Somalia uh, intends to do the same, but it asked Eritrea to do it first, that it should ban Ethiopian line flights. After that, Somalia would do that so that Ethiopia could be Ethiopia could come under pressure. So I think it's a political move. Major reasons are political, not uh, operational, it seems. Let's see. Secondly, viewers, uh, IDPs are returning to their homes in southern Tagaray and Salamti. Ethiopian Northwest uh, Military Command issued a statement yesterday. It said that uh, 10,000 people have returned to their homes in Salamti so far. Uh, 10,000 residents of the area. They were displaced from Salamti. Salamti government has been dismantled. Mayor joined Fano. And uh, the Salamti Amhara Identity Restoration Committee is complaining that uh, militia members have also entered Salamti. We don't know, but uh, according to military, 10,000 people have returned to their homes in Salamti. Two days ago, I told you about return of IDPs from Sikota to uh, Koram. Amhar IDPs who were displaced after Tigrayan fighters entered uh, southern Tigray in April. Now they are also being brought back by military. Yesterday, hundreds of people displaced from Alamata into Kobo, they returned. From Kobo, they returned to Alamata and surroundings of Alamata. Several vehicles carrying these people returned to Alamata. So Amhara is returning to in southern Tigray. Tegarayans returning as well from Mahoni, Macho, Makale. They have been on the move, seen on the move, moving towards Koram, Elamata. Around 16,000 are set to return. Thousands have returned. I don't know about the exact number, how many have returned so far. So both Amharas and Tegarayans are returning to their homes in Southern Zone. There is some tension to their minor tension, I would say. Military there, ENDF, uh, Federal Forces there. Uh, both parties returning, so we could see small friction there. Hopefully, 
things will be solved in, an, in the issues will be solved in an amicable manner there so in both zones idp is returning largely smooth